The lascivious king has 3,000 wives, but he falls in love with an 80-year-old woman. The king sucked the old woman's fingers in a state of ecstasy and begged her to spend the night with him. What's going on here? Early one morning, the hungover king staggered down the road and was attracted by the sound of a beautiful song. He thought it must be a great beauty singing, so he followed the sound of the song. He saw a maiden running into a dilapidated wooden house and thought she was seducing him. In order to get her virginity, he asked his soldiers to give her treasures just to see what she looked like, but she didn't even open the door and just handed out a small barrel to put the treasures in. The girl in the house was actually an 80-year-old woman named Dora. She has a sister of the same age named Violet. They're so old they can't hardly see, but they have soul-stirring voices. Dora sang this morning song. Dora was the more dominant of the two at home. Violet panicked at the sight of all the expensive jewelry. If the king finds out we're old women, he'll kill us. Dora doesn't care about taboos. Are we going to give the jewels back? No, she wouldn't. At night, when the king gets lonely and wants to have sex, he just knocks on the door. Let me see you. You have such a beautiful voice. Violet stood behind the door, terrified and ready to tell the truth. But Dora calmly lied. She couldn't miss her chance to be queen and rich. She said she was too poor to meet the king. The king didn't care if she was poor. As long as she was good looking, the king ordered the door to be opened. Dora had no choice but to promise the king that I'm to shy now. Come back in a week and I'll show you a finger. Well, it's nice to touch a finger. I'll see you next week. Dora sent the king away and began to think of ways to be more beautiful. The woman sprinkled a layer of salt on her finger and stuck it in boiling water. Then she wrapped her finger in layers of cotton cloth. At night, a delicate finger was tucked along the crack and out the door. The king knelt down and touched the smooth finger. He thought there must be a beautiful man here. Then he couldn't resist kissing and sucking the finger. But he didn't realize that behind the door were two old women over 80 years old. Then Dora realized that one of Violet's fingers was particularly pink. So she stuck one of Violet's fingers out the door. The king asked if you've even shown me your finger. When are you going to meet me? Dora said I'd love to sleep with you. But can you not turn on the light when you sleep? Because I'm shy. The king was satisfied that she would come to bed and left. Dora asked Violet to glue up her old wing clock skin. At night she went into the palace to sleep in the dark when the king was not looking. After the king had sex with her, he didn't think it was enough and wanted to see what she looked like. But the king cried out for his mother when he saw the old woman. His virginity was at stake. So the king called his soldiers to throw the old woman out. Luckily, Dora was wrapped in a sheet. The sheet hung from a tree branch and saved her life. Then a witch passed by and saved Dora. The witch gave the 80-year-old woman a mouthful of breast milk. The old woman's dry skin was instantly transformed into something soft and smooth. Dora turned from 80 to 18 in a minute. The king came to the forest to hunt and saw the rejuvenated Dora. He didn't know that this fairy was the old woman. he just thrown out of the castle. All he knew was that he loved this woman. The king's wedding to Dora took place on the same day. Dora sent Violet a dress and invited her to her wedding. At the dinner, Violet hardly recognized the young Dora. Dora explains to her, I don't know what happened, but I woke up like this. I'll take care of you from now on, but you mustn't reveal the secret. Otherwise, we'll both be in trouble. But when Dora left, Violet blurted out that the queen was my sister. I'm not a guest. Come and flatter me. Violet's behavior was not only unassuming, it was outrageous. But no one believed her. How could the queen be so young and have such an old sister? Violet refused to leave after the dinner. She wanted to live in the palace. She wanted to be young, so she kept asking Dora how she became beautiful and young. Dora had to come up with an excuse in the face of Violet's irrationality. I skinned my body and became young, but Violet believed her. She asked a hairdresser to do it for her. She said she was rich because her sister was a queen, so she didn't have to worry that she couldn't afford a beauty treatment. All the barber knew was that people die when they're skinned, so we didn't agree to do the business. Violet turned to another man for help. The man realized that since there was so much money to be made in skinning, so it took a knife to Violet's body, but the blood didn't get her what she wanted. All that was waiting for her was death. Dora's reign as queen didn't last long. At a party, she suddenly realized her skin had aged, so she fled when the king wasn't looking. This story is from the movie The Tale of Tales. Generally speaking, the relationship between sisters is very delicate. On the one hand, Sisters support each other by blood, but on the other hand, they are more or less competitive. These two old women are dependent on each other, but it's not love that binds them together. It's loneliness. 
poverty and humility that they can't escape from. Once this balance is broken, the relationship between the two of them breaks down. Dora's splendor and success plunges Violet into the abyss. Back to reality. We are first individuals. We are ourselves. And only after that are we brothers, sisters and lovers. It is only when we develop our own personality that we have our own place in the world. You can subscribe and leave comments if you have any ideas. Thanks for watching. See you next time.